G'day everyone, welcome back to another David Maxfield Golf video where today uh, I'm answering your, your guys' questions. So you said that you wanted to see the awesome golf simulator round um, with, from the full tees, so from the back tees. We did it with the Tacoma wedges, so we're going to be playing the Island Beach course again right from the back tees and this is actually really difficult because there's some 200 meter carry distances that we need to get past and I'm just in the garage so I don't really have a club for that. So let's see how we go and get straight to the first tee. All right, so play golf. Here we are, first hole, which is a nice par four. And it's gonna be important on the par fours to try and get birdies because the par threes and the par fives are actually really difficult uh, with the carry distances. So this one's straight into our face with the wind. Let's go. That wind, that made that pretty tough. I might have to hit this again. So three iron to start, 186 to the pin. I got another three iron to, the, to a par four. That felt good though. Hit that well. Get in that circle, that would be an awesome start. Okay, that's a par, that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Continue. Now par five, so this one, it's gonna sound silly, but we're gonna to have to play this really, really strategically. So, so there's the hole, but you can see on the bottom right corner, it's a 200 meter carry, even just to the fringe of that. So I'm literally gonna to have to play this hole almost backwards. I'm gonna to have to lay it up about 110 meters and then play it from there. It's the only way to try and save par because I've got a fair chance of hitting it straight in that water if I try and go over. So just gonna have to hit a pitching wedge. Hopefully it lands on that tee box. Didn't, but we're in play. Might sound silly, but it's what we gotta do here. So 428, winds off the left a bit. We're gonna aim dead center of the fairway. Okay. I didn't strike that very well, but we've had two shots and we now got a chance to get on in three. I didn't want to uh, hit it straight in the water and then I'm hitting three from you know 400 meters. We don't really have a chance to get on in three. We're 250 from the pin. But still, a much better chance of making par. So that's shot number three. All right, so 50 meters with a 56. Got the Tacoma 56 out here, ready to work some magic. Sit down. Sit. No, it's too much. I oh, don't go to the fringe. Oh no. You know what? Let's think positive. Let's hold this out for par. 12 meters. Oh, I nearly did. I hit the pin. Well, it's a bogey, but it's not a double bogey. So I'll take that. Now, 163 on a par three. Struck that really well. Oh, get in that circle. Get in that circle. It's kind of into us that wind. Changed. It's a par. So I'll take par on 170 meter par three any day. 163, whatever. Par five again. This is tough. So when we did the Tacoma wedges on this exact same course, it was all about short game, and we ended up being four under par, which tells me that my wedge game is really good. But the long game also needs to be able to put myself in the position to have that short game. So both are important, which is, you know, exactly what this teaches. See, we've got a 200 meter carry again. <laughs> the wind's off the right. I, I just don't, we, we, we're not gonna get there in here because I can't have a full swing with this garage. So 
It's going to have to be a gap wedge and we're just going to have to rely on that short game again. So we just, oh no, don't hit that in the water. That would be terrible. Oh, that was lucky. I'm on the beach, but I'm not in the water. Continue. All right, so that's where I'm aiming now. Basically club that. All right, that's out of the sand, but we'll take it. We're dry, continue. Get it safe into that next, next little island there. There we go. Now it comes down to the short game. 113 meters to the pin with the wind just behind us. It's behind us a little bit actually. It's either going to be a knockdown pitching wedge or a full gap wedge. Let's go the, the full Tacoma gap wedge. Oh, hit that good. Hit that good. Not quite. Oh, perfect distance, just a little, little bit of draw on it just because I was trying to get that extra distance. But we got a bogey, so I'm basically paying them like a 600 meter par five when I'm hitting a wedge off the tee. Par four now. So, actually, oh no, this one's the same. This one's got a hundred meter carry on a par four as well. So let's uh, see what we can do here. I don't have a club, so it's gonna have to be, I'm gonna go on eight. Just try and hit this about 125, knock down. Get over that tree. Stay in the, yeah, stay in the rough. Okay. So that's a pretty good shot. Oh no. Get, I just absolutely nearly hosled that. I thinned it, but you know what? That's actually worked out pretty well. 107 to the pin downwind. To Como 52 come out to play. All right, now if we hold this out, that would just make my day. Struck it well. That is on target. Get in that circle. Spin back. Yes. That's gotta be. That's a par that feels like a birdie. That was awesome. The camera's starting to overheat, so if I skip through some of the flyovers of these holes, that's probably why. We have 175 to the pin into us, so I'm gonna go four. That was a good strike. Just get on the green. Get on, that was a good shot. Okay, in real life that's almost gettable, so pretty happy with that. Take a par there. Beautiful looking hole. I'll get that three iron out again. I am kind of flying through because I don't want the camera to overheat to where it shuts off, so. Bit thin, but it'll work. This might almost be a three iron again, depending on where we get to. We did get to 200, that's good. 178 to the pin, off the right a little. Especially if I hit it like that, that was good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, sit down now, sit down. Oh, that was a great shot though from 178. Got that good. All right. We need some birdies. What are we looking at here? Okay, it looks pretty gentle except that first carry again. Oh, I don't really have, okay. It's gonna be one of these ones. Just go past that tree. That's perfect, okay. Now we can go three iron. So we've played every one of these par fives with a wedge off the tee, which makes it a massive challenge. And if we can get this to 200, oh, it's gonna be hard out of the rough, but that would be good. 
Ooh. Okay, that's the roof. That's why I don't try and hit that hard. Okay. All right, no more three iron. Okay, we got that 180 number, which is awesome. That should be, uh, sit down, sit down, spin back. Oh! Oh, I thought that was in the hole, that was a bogey, but man, that was so good, that could have been a par. Well, we played all of the par five so far with bogey, which is really when you're hitting a pitching wedge off the tee, it's pretty good. All right, we've got 133. The wind is into us playing downhill. Gonna go an easy, sort of like a flick nine. If we can hole out here, that would be awesome. Tell you what, it's... What a spin. I should have actually hit a full shot. Don't know how that downhill plays. Anyway, we got a par. So, it's really interesting actually. It's really interesting because what happens is, on, on the previous one when I did this, it was four under par, hitting it from the very front tees using just the wedges only. And now when I've gone to the very back tees and I don't have any drivers or woods, it's just three iron down uh, with three over par and all of the over pars are on the par fives. So, when we look at the long game, when we look at the short game, the short game was still very good today, um, but the long game is, is what counted on those par fives, and we got three bogeys, which you know what, I'm actually really happy with because I had to play them all with wedges off the tee. So we're basically playing them like extremely long par fours, and to only get bogeys on those holes is awesome. And uh, guys, that's the simulator golf today. I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, something different, so hit that subscribe button, hit a like, comment, a positive comment, I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.